Hey everyone, I'm Eric, also known as EMC150, or just EMC for short, and welcome back to another episode of Legacy of Cain, Soul Reaver 2. Now, we just got into another forge. Oh, well, there we go. Nice little look around. The scenes I discovered here were unambiguous. This race of winged beings, the architects of the pillars and the creators of the Reaver, were Nosgoth's first vampires. Their bloodthirst appeared to be a curse inflicted upon them by their vanquished enemies. These images confirmed the truths that Cain had divulged to me, but I had been too incredulous to accept. I struggled in vain to see how the pieces fit together. How Cain intended to escape the dilemma of his destiny, and what role he had plotted for me, and why Mobius and the dark powers with which he seemed to be allied were so desperate to see Cain dead, and so intent on me being the instrument of his execution. Hmm. That's interesting indeed. Where the crap am I? Okay. Yeah, alright, I'm remembering this place now. It's been a while. I do remember where I'm, where I'm going and what I need to do. Do I need the Dark Reaver? No, I need the Light Reaver. Which is precisely why these fonts are here. I think I just heard my phone buzz. I would be very surprised if that, uh... If that picked up. What am- am I missing something? Evidently I am missing something. I th I thought all I needed to do was shoot this. Is it? All right. I don't know what I'm doing. Apparently, great. Um. Do I shoot it from over here? Is is that what's happening? What the crap is going on? Um, I am very confused. I am very confused. Okay. <laughs> Why didn't that work the first dozen times I shot it? I... I have no idea why that was as finicky as it was. Uh, as finicky as it was. I swear I pushed the jump button. I swear, I did in fact jump. Alright. That's a... Uh, that's a new symbol. Well, that's the symbol for this place here. 
It's kind of cool, actually. Alright, I don't need to be killing you. What am I doing? I am leaving this hallway. Oh, here we go. Yeah, of course you guys would be in here too. Why would you not be? Ow! Stop shooting me. It's very rude. Clearly I'm trying to, uh... Okay, that was weird. That looked very weird to me on my screen, that, uh, I guess the top half of his body flopping on the ground. Can you figure out what this place is going to be yet? What element? Uh, whoa! I was about to say, I just heard an enemy come out of a font. And then I got punched in the back. Alright, we have the Light Reaver now. Um, so, this is how we're going to figure out where we're going. Here we have the Light Reaver. Um, not the, wow, that is not a Light Reaver. Uh, that is a regular Soul Reaver. That's the Light Reaver, clearly. And this one is the Dark Reaver. So since we have the Light Reaver, obviously we're going to go up the Light Reaver uh, wall. And so, the last game loved its block puzzles. This game loves its uh, put things in the right spot puzzles. And there are very... Actually, I don't think there are any other puzzles... Well, oh, that's not true. They, they have puzzles with the different Reavers. So, there's a little more of a variety in, uh, in this game. I'm so glad they did away with the block puzzles. <laughs> Because after, by the time I finished the first game, I was really done with them. Alright, I don't know why I thought there was going to be some sort of dialogue there. Alright, I don't rem... I do not remember this place all that well. I do, uh... Clearly I do need to get up there. Oh my god. There we go. That's what I was trying to do. Got caught on geometry again. Um. Oh. Oh, hi. I was about to say I hear music, enemy music playing. Alright, so you are going or shooting in the wrong direction. Am I able to. Uh, nope. The wind. Hell, that was that. That was awkward. That was kind of awkward. All right, so I believe I'm gonna have to shift. I believe this is how I'm gonna have to get across. Yeah. And of course, there are no uh, souls just free flying around for me to grab. Whoa. I don't want 
you. No way. Oh, okay, yeah, there was the, uh, there was the clue here. You would be able to see that from across, and that's the spectral plane uh, emblem. And you're an enemy. <laughs> he just got tossed around there. What the? All right, I have not really seen the Mac like that before. That's kind of uh, funny. So we are okay. Ow! Hey, that wasn't very nice. Um, is this going to make it permanent, or is this going to be a timed thing? Because we are going. Oh, you know what? Uh, this is probably is going to be a timed thing. I'm going to give it a few more seconds. Uh, maybe it isn't a timed thing. Oh, yeah, it is. I am really glad I didn't go across. So we're going to have to do. Uh, we're going to have to do this. And then run across here. Yeah. There's going to be a pl oh yeah, right here is where we're doing. We got up here, and we are going to glide on the wind pressure. And there we go. That's how these get done. So at this point, have you guessed what uh, element we're going to be getting? I've got a green bleeding heart. So this item, like all the other important ones, uh, if you leave it on the ground unattended for too long, it vanishes and, and it will appear back where you got it there. And so unless you're colorblind, this is fairly simple. Green heart, green hull. And if you are colorblind, then uh, this ends up being trial and error and kind of annoying. Just saying. Oh, that's, that's bleak. Because of course. I like the lack of sound effects for that. Now I wonder if that's uh a glitch or perhaps like a, a scratch or a, a scuff on my disc but yeah there was no sound effects there for me either all right so let's get the uh... okay there's no font there Okay, that was kind of weird. He decided to not uh, to 
not spawn. All right, let's get the darkness. Uh, let's get the darkness path, the dark river path, the emu path. That was terrible. Ow! Hey! Hey! Whoa! That was terrible too. You guys weren't here a second ago. Terrible three. And that in itself was probably terrible four. I'm done now. Okay, once again, I just fall off the fall off there, and you just uh, yeah, that's funny. All right, now this is a trap. You just saw an enemy run up along there. That is meant to lure you out. That is such a trap. And I know this only because I played the. I remember this last time I played through it. So we can't just solve this now because we need the. Uh, we need the Light Reaver. Uh, however, the reason why I say that's a trap is look what's right in the doorway. Okay, floating sword. Alright, so... I missed something. Uh, damn it. Yeah, I, mi I missed something. There is a block somewhere that we have to push down. And, uh... Oh, there, yeah, see, that right there. And I jumped down. Yeah, I should have jumped to the side there, damn it. No avoiding this. God damn it. There are no free souls around, I gotta kill you guys, don't I? Oh, stop that! All right, he listened. Oh, that, now there's free souls there. Oh. All right, I don't know why I climbed up there. Oh boy, where's my uh, where's my portal? Oh, it's over here. All the way back over here. All right, we're gonna do this right this time. in before I screw it up. <laughs> no, I know where I'm going now. I remember. I remember what I must do. Where I must go. No, I don't. I do not remember. I do not remember anything. God damn it. Oh, come on. 
That was totally high enough. Oh, come on. Ah. Uh. Ah, I'll meet you back here. Yeah, I'm an idiot. All right. What I should have done last time was drop down to this part because that way, not only do I have the Dark Reaver. Well, yeah, that that's it. I have the Dark Reaver can actually blind that thing to get through because, you know, I think thing through. I think thing through. Yep, I can spoke. Oh, why does anyone watch me? <laughs> if you're watching this and you you have a anything but a snark comment to that, then uh, clearly you have in fact been paying attention. <laughs> Wee. Oh, what? Why am I on top of it? That made no sense to me. I should not have been on top of it. I should have been in front of it, where I am now, essentially. I like how that sword is still floating. Alright. We are almost done. Well, we're almost done this, uh, this part. We have one more one more puzzle zone to do after this. So it's kind of looking like this is probably going to be a... Oh. I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. Oh my god, I'm an idiot. Oh god damn it. Yeah, there's no way I'm going to... Oh god damn it. I'll see you back here. Okay, and the sad thing is, as I was approaching that and unlocking that door to get in there, I had that thought, don't forget, you have to use the Dark Reaver to blind this damn thing before I missed. I'm glad I didn't get it. You've got to blind that before you get the Light Reaver. Otherwise, it's all for naught. Because he will, in fact, destroy you as you try to go go out with the Light Reaver. And I knew this, and I still screwed it up. More of that top tier gameplay I'm known for, guys. And we have one more to do, so we're going to finish this place off on uh, in this episode. This is going to be a little bit of a longer one than uh, I would like, but uh, I I don't really want to just leave right at the end, like you know, right here, sort of thing, right in the middle of this. Also, that one went much faster. And how did that wind in the first time, that first one, like blow him off his feet and out here when it's not even giving me any, uh, any gliding boost? Come on, guys. That, that was a little bit of an oversight. 
Alright, this is the regular Reaver, so we don't need anything specific. I actually do remember this uh, this area. Uh, it's the solution. I'll probably remember as I get in there and look around. But uh, I do remember the gimmick uh, to this uh, to this one. Ow! Come on! Thank you. Okay. So again, I don't know why I'm even bothering. We have the uh, the underworld motif for the spectral realm. So uh, we go to the spectral realm, and at least we have souls floating around here. So, I'm gonna... Okay, we need the dark... Hmm. Let's look around. Alright, we need the light reaver to open this side. And we, I believe, need the dark reaver to actually open the other side. So, let's get the dark reaver while we're right here. And this is a thing. Okay. This is not going to last indefinitely. I, I, I highly doubt this is going to last indefinitely. In fact, I know it won't. I, I remember what we're doing now. We're doing this, essentially. Uh, well, that's still there. How long does that actually last? I don't think I jumped high enough. Oh yes I did. Alright, so we're going to open this door. And if that thing is still... the bridge is still there, then we're, we're done. Oh come on, open the... It is really picky with where your position must be to open these things. Yeah, this is still here. Wow. Well, okay, I guess I did it the right uh, the right way the first time. I I was expecting that to have worn off uh, before that. So yeah, there we go. That's it. Easier than I thought it was going to be. We have a nice little blue heart.
Alright, now we have all three. And I'm still not getting a gliding boost. Yay. But yet, when I'm here... Alright, well the last puzzle we have is actually fairly simple. As the Reaver drained the forge of its vital energy, the Tempest receded. I recovered myself, and paused to admire my newly forged weapon, now imbued with the elemental power of air. Thus armed, I hope that I now finally possess the means to escape this wasted land. Did he just say, I hoped I now possess the means? I think that's what I heard, and that would make that, that that would make sense for him to say that even. But yeah, we now have the Air Reaver. If you didn't already know by this point, we were getting some sort of air or wind elemented, however they wanted to refer to it as, by this place. Now I can't actually make out what that says, that little button prompt. I think it said like hold R1 to, to glide up or something like that, but I, that's, I, let's see if I can read what it says there, to go, glide straight up, did it say L1 or, okay, that was, that was weird, yeah, none of my shoulder buttons there that it could be indicating uh, do anything other than, than make your descent slow, it doesn't go put you straight up. Like it was saying, it just slows your your ascent. So I don't uh, I don't know what that's on about. Maybe they uh, uh, that was supposed to be different, or that text was supposed to be changed, or something. But yeah, that uh, that's a nice little fast walk you got going on. Yeah, it doesn't seem to really match up. And uh, so there we go. This elemental reaver I discovered had the power to obliterate barriers that were cracked or compromised. At last, I had the means to open that ruined time-streaming chamber I discovered so long ago in the swamp. Now, perhaps, I could leave this wasteland and return to an era 
when Janos Ordrin still lived. Maybe we can. And uh, I am going to head out and over to a save point. That's not too, too far from here. And I don't know if there's anything, like, cutscene-wise or anything that's going to happen along the way. So, uh, other than this. Alright. Oh, you know what? Actually, I'm forgetting where I am. It's quite a... Actually, uh, I'm forgetting where I was. There's one not too far, but yeah. Anyway, I'm going to I'm going to call it here. So, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and uh, we're going to start at that save point uh, the next in the next episode, I think. Uh, but maybe not. I don't know. We'll we'll ah fuck it. <laughs> Until next time, everybody. Take care. You here.